Half bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The number to call is one eight hundred Star Wars. Don't miss this amazing once in a. <laughs> Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Whoa, indeed. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there, oh, huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? 
Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. Plenty of those at home. Taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business.
this beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? Eh, probably another rejection slip. Oh, well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Designing a miniaturization ray? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Wow, this is loud.
Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, no, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So what are you up to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Hey, don't touch my stamp. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express stamp. You ruined my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... Negative feelings. Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Hey boy, you missed the party!
You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit! That cracks me up every time! Just calm down for a second. I can't get hold of it. I can't get hold of it. Isn't that Albert Einstein? Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. Nice? Babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid! <laughs> 